Hey there, it's Brad from Brad Tech Online, and I'm reviewing FProt Antivirus for Windows. Um, it's, FProt's been around for a while. I believe uh, anybody that's been in the antivirus industry um, has came across them a couple of times at least. Um, in this version, there's been some added features. Uh, they claimed to have improved advanced heuristics based detection as uh, supposed to cut down on unknown threats. Um, they have a completely automatic file system protection that scans and disinfects all file types, which honestly, yeah, that's a really a new concept there. <laughs> um, has email protection, uh, so you can schedule attacks, uh, tasks to do. Um, it'll scan for uh, ActiveX um, exploits. You can see right here, they have a password protection. To password protect against changes made. If you go right here into the virus scanner, um, you can see the uh, settings to enable heuristics on Internet Explorer, email uh, settings, and this will protect against uh, Internet Explorer protection, which is supposed to protect against being uh, your home page being changed, things like that. Um, you can go in here and do a uh, scan for my computer, which will scan all the all these things right here. Or you can just uh, do a scan on your hard drives, a scan only on your uh, removable media. You can scan your network shares to make sure your uh, antivirus on your um, file system is working fine. Um, you can go down here and look in the quarantine, see what things are being quarantined. You can set up exclusion for your games. Um, you can do a manual scan reporting where you can report all scanned objects. Um, you can make it so that your speakers make a sound when you're infected by a virus. There's not really a whole lot of advanced things in this program. Um, you can go in here and, and have it uh, do a thorough scan and scan your streams, compressed files, and in, uh, s inside your subfolders. Um, you can set up if, how you want it to react if a virus is found. Um, for some reason it's set to only have report only, but they recommend to uh, disinfect quarantine if unsuccessful. Um, you can do that. Yeah, I'm really interested in uh, trying to find how it defends against zero days today. So let's get the test on the road, see how it does. Supposedly they have some kind of uh, the uh, suspicious infected files are uh, safely quarantined in an area before they're uh, disinfected. Let's see if it actually does that on some of these zero days. Looks like it's allowing me to download. And I just had in my explorer.exe crash. See if we can see anything running. Got 23 processes. Still have 23. Let's go on to the next site then. Looks like trust fire is getting through. And Trust Fighter is running, as you can see right here in the fake Windows Security Center. And I'm pretty sure that 
my browser is going to be hijacked. Peter's just running really slow right now. The VM that is. Let's just type in AVG. See if we get redirected back to Safe Fighter's site. We aren't so far. Here's a new bot exe file. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Twenty six hundred exe. Looks like the bot.exe ran just fine. We got this uh, joc2c.tem.exe running. Um, Looks like my Windows firewall got disabled on its own. That bot.exe looks like that's what that thing did. Um, here's a redirect. See if it's still active. Here's a uh, Windows Police, Windows Pro Police. A uh, new variant released today of it. Looks like it was installed successfully. My explorer process is pegged out at 99%, as you can see right here. Let me try to close Explorer. Well, there we go. Windows Pro Police has successfully launched. There it is. To be honest with you, I haven't seen it detect one thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot. See what happens upon restarting of this VM right here. Okay, coming back up here. And Trust Fighter Fake Security Center is running.